Engineer 775 here in a well. Surprise, surprise. We're going to do something a little different. Every job I think I say that, and every video I think I'm doing something a little different because I guess I get bored easy or have ADD or some kind of problem. Um, we're going to put in, this is going to be another three in one well. You've seen several of those if you watched my well pump videos. We're going to leave their grid pump in. The reason we're doing all this is this system is an off-grid dual magnum system. But the pump that they put in is a pretty hefty Franklin pump. And to start it, it dims the lights a little bit. So the magnum manual even says that that'll happen, but it's an annoyance to the customer. And uh, to take that annoyance away, we're going to put in a 220-volt little Grunfoss SQ pump. It has dry run protection, it is 240, it's soft start, got an extra check valve added to it. And we're going to drop her in there about 200 feet down, alongside, but on top of, above, the current existing grid pump. So we're going to put that here. So we've gone ahead and re-plumbed to prepare for it. We're going to disconnect and pull this up, and we're going to insert this one in. We, to start this project, we wanted to see what we had. Um, well, we came back, we had to take a simple pump back out of the well, hand pump, and that was, this, the main pump was heavy, <coughs> but we pulled out 190, 200 feet of it, took out some cable guards that are going to be in our way, not all of them, just what was in my way, and so we have prepped this well to insert this other Grunfoss pump, so the whole reason for that is to stop the dimming in his house, and in order to do that, where my transfer switch go we're going to have this we're going to be able to select this is a just a relatively inexpensive uh, safety selector switch that we can switch and select between the two pumps so we're going to be able to select between Grun Grunfoss and Franklin in this well so we've got a little competition going on Grunfoss Franklin and simple pump inside this one well so the soft start will take away the dimming It'll also give him backup, and he can run either pump that he wants. Everything's check valved, and he'll have a hand pump for a backup. He also has generators. He has solar. He has grid. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five ways to get water out of this well. I think that's enough. Um, I think I don't think I've ever done more than five ways to get water out of a well. Maybe six, but that's that's the plan so I hope that makes sense and you might be wondering why well the the dimming of the lights when the magnum uh, when this pump surges like 40 I think it's um, right at 31 amps it causes a little dimming of the lights and um, it's not hurting anything again it's an annoyance so I offered the customer the opportunity to uh, Add a soft start pump, but leave his existing pump in there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Also having fun with this gentleman. He's also a, an alum, alumna, alumnus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, RPI, where I graduated with a master's degree. He graduated with a chemistry degree and myself with a mechanical engineering degree. So we've been having fun showing off our RPI t-shirts. Except I don't fit. I'm not showing you, showing me in my RPI t-shirt. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> don't fit in that t-shirt anymore. So anyway, let's continue. <laughs> we got to get this other pump in there. We're set to do that. So I'll show you the next step. <laughs> we do not need a pump truck. That's what Abraham has decided. <laughs> Hello, Abraham. Hello. And uh, we've just pulled it. We can just pull everything out and put everything back in. So Abraham is holding up two pumps, one in each hand. <laughs> but see how we make just enough room to slide this little baby Grunfoss down in with the other pump. So, because it's a six inch casing, you can get away with this. You can't do it in a four. So we're going to slide 200 feet of this into our well. We've already pre-measured everything and we're stacking everything. Grid, Grunfoss, simple pump, okay?
next step. Okay, finished product. Three pumps and one well. The PVC on the left is coming from a new Grunfoss soft start pump we put in. Tied it in with the regular Franklin one horsepower pump that was dimming his lights. And we have the simple pump back in its position. We have two sets of wires coming to a selector switch, 100 amp selector switch that can choose. Right now it's in the Grunfoss position. So if any problem with that pump arises, you can switch between it. You also have a shutoff out here now. So you can turn this off and you can switch back to the Franklin pump. So there's a lot of redundancies in this small space, but it can be done. We had to pull the first pump, make sure we had no obstructions to put down the other two pumps. So that was that was fun. And uh, but the real deal today that made this go so well was this tent. <laughs> and that was Abraham's idea. He said, Do you have a tent? Do you have can we put up a tent tomorrow? Because we had been here before putting a simple pump in. And it was 91 and no escape from the sun. This tent saved our lives today. At least made it a little bit easier. And because we gotta go put a tank booster on a water heater. So we'd really just want to either kill each other or just go home <laughs> if we had to do this in 90 degree weather all day long because we've been at it since well we've been at it for like I don't know seven hours on these three three and one and not stopping so thankful for the MVP of the job just a simple canopy to keep us out of the sun so thanks Abraham you saved the day all right Let's get to work on the next phase because we can't stop working. We got problems.